the flank. Presented by Ram continues on ABC Action News Now. Every week here on the plank, we feature somebody who has to walk the plank. And I think this time we're going to have to go with someone on the defensive side of the ball. I really hate to do it because this is a holiday week. <laughs> uh, but, but this guy can't control himself, so we're going to send it to him. And we're going to send him on the plank. And his name is Will Golston, defensive tackle for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Will? <laughs> And the reason why we pick Golston, the penalties just continue to continue Wait, to mount. It looks silly. Yeah, it just looks silly kicking a player. All right. Well, uh, here's my takeaway uh, from that game that happened uh, oh, over 72 hours ago. Depleted defense. Uh, they had no Vincent Jackson uh, really to compliment uh, Evans. Uh, really couldn't get anything going, uh, and uh, simply lost their composure. Yeah. And that, that to me is uh, it pretty much sums it up. I agree. Uh, lost their composure because of lack of mental toughness. You can't get emotionally involved and get silly penalties like William Golston. Red zone woes, they just could not score in the first half of that game. Second half they did only because the Rams let up. And, of course, the Buccaneers, when they score first, they typically win, and they have not been able to do that in the last two games that they have lost in a must-win situation. So. Well, they're two-and-a-half-point favorites over the uh, Chicago Bears when the Bears come to town here on the uh, 27th. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what goes. Both teams statistically about even. Might be a wash. It, what if they tie? Very much so. <laughs> Thank goodness the uh, the Buccaneers are at least this holiday been able to hang around at home. And we hope you have a great uh, Christmas holiday. And uh, I'm going to be gone next week, so uh, Happy New Year to all of you as well. Uh, for John Sable, who will be here next week, and me, uh, you take care. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this edition of The Plan. Have a great week.